morning first graders. Happy Wednesday. Today we'll go over our morning message and our calendar activities and then we'll practice some new two-dimensional shapes in math. I just want to remind you that today at 11 a.m. we are going to have our class Zoom call and I hope that all of you can make it so that I can see your faces but again so you can see some of the friends from our classes that we haven't seen since March. We really miss each other, so I hope you can come. Um, let's read our morning message. Good morning, first graders. Today is Wednesday. It is May 20th, 2020. We have our Zoom class call at 11 a.m. You will learn about triangles and trapezoids. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Love, Mrs. Roche. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Today, I'm going to predict that it's going to be partly cloudy and hopefully you can get outside. A penny is one, a nickel is five, a dime is ten, and a quarter is twenty-five. Last time we did math on Monday, we talked about squares and we talked about rectangles and we talked about how there are sides of those shapes and vertices, which vertices are like the corners of the shapes. And today we're going to look at two new shapes, which we've probably seen before, especially when we would use our pattern blocks in math groups. But the two shapes that we're going to talk about are triangles, say triangles for me, good job, and trapezoids, say trapezoids for me, good job. Now let's look at our triangle. Now a triangle has this kind of shape and if you look closely it has three sides we can count them one two three there are three sides in a triangle and there are three vertices one two three or three corners so I'm gonna write three sides this is kind of what we've been doing in our math books and three vertices if we look here at our trapezoid, it has four sides and it has four vertices, kind of like our, tri our square and our rectangle, but this shape is a little bit different because the sides go in different directions. In the other shapes, like square and rectangle, our sides went up and down or across. They were horizontal or vertical. But in this shape, you can see that the sides they still go horizontal, but on the outside, they go vertical, but in opposite directions. There's still one, two, three, four sides. I could even look at the smaller trapezoid and still count four sides. One, two, three, four. And there are four vertices. That means those corners. One, two, three, four one two three and four so we have four vertices so what i want you to do right now is get out your math book turn to the page that we need to be on today so that we can practice some more with our triangles and our vertices and our trapezoids and being able to tell how many sides and how many vertices and maybe even find different types of triangles and trapezoids in our life and inside your book. So let's get started. Today we're going to look at triangles and trapezoids. If you look at this picture, you see two animals, you see kind of like a barn or a house, and they're all made of shapes. Now, I want you to be able to tell me how many triangles you see and how many trapezoids you see. Now, since we don't have those things at home, I'm going to show you how you can see those with numbers. Keep looking. A triangle has three sides and a trapezoid has four. If we look at the triangles first, you can see that there's one triangle with the bird's body. 
Then in the roof of the barn, there's two, three, four, five triangles. How many trapezoids do you see? Well, I see one in the animal. So write those numbers on your line. Five triangles, one trapezoid. So let's learn some more about triangles and trapezoids. Triangles and trapezoids are two-dimensional shapes. They are closed. They have straight sides and vertices. Look next to the pig. You can see a triangle right there. And we know it's closed because look, he's dizzy. He ran into it. Both these shapes are closed and have sides and vertices. Let's look closer. If we look at the triangle first, we can count the sides. When I count the sides, a triangle has three sides. Then I'm gonna look closer and look at the vertices. Remember, vertices are corners. I see three. Trace over your threes for triangle. Let's look at the trapezoid. If I count the sides, I see one, two, three, four. A trapezoid has four sides. Trace over your four. If we look at the corners or the vertices, I count one, two, three, four. Write the four or trace it. Write how many sides and vertices. So as you can see, we see a green triangle, an orange trapezoid, kind of a rainbowish shape, and then a yield sign. I want you to go through and count the sides and vertices in each of these shapes. So for one, I see three sides and three vertices. Go ahead and write that now on your paper. For number two, how many sides and vertices do you see? I see four sides and four vertices. For problem three, why don't you pause the video and see if you can write down how many sides and vertices. Okay, I hope you paused. Now I see four sides and four vertices in this shape. For four, I see three sides and three vertices for the sign. Okay, this is your independent practice page. So for five and six, it says write how many sides and how many vertices. Look at number five. I see a trapezoid. Do you remember how many sides and vertices they have? For six, I see a triangle. Do your best. For the next problems, circle the objects that match the description. In problem seven, it says four sides and four vertices. Look at the coin, the piece of cheese, and the rainbow shape. Which one of those has four sides and four vertices? And circle it. Problem eight says three sides and three vertices. Circle the objects that match that description. Which ones have three sides and three vertices? For problem nine, it says to circle the closed shapes. So look at all of these shapes right above the pig, we'll call him Wilbur, and circle the closed shapes with your pencil. Problem 10, draw and write the name of each shape. Listen to the clues. I am a closed two-dimensional shape that has three sides and three vertices. What shape am I? Go ahead and write it on the line. Problem 11, I am a closed two-dimensional shape that has four sides and four vertices. Two of my sides are the same length. My other two sides are not the same length. What shape am I? Write it on the line. You can skip problem 12 if you want to, but if you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and read it on your own and answer in your own words by writing your answer on the line. Wonderful job, boys and girls, working on your trapezoids and 
your um, triangles today. I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me any way you want by calling, emailing me, or messaging me on Seesaw. I can't wait to see some of you later. I hope you all come, and I'll talk to you at 11. Bye. Have a wonderful Wednesday.